Holy crap, guys! Do you see this? Do you see this? Oh my god, this is the Evil 7! Okay, okay, Danny, calm down, calm down, calm down. Let's introduce everybody, let's, let's say hi to everybody first, okay? Calm down before you start nerding out. Hey, everybody, hey, what up? You know, it's the awesome Dan here. How y'all doing today? So, E3 is just amazing this year. All these new game releases, all these great, great, like, nerd. Uh, that's been happening this this E3, and one of the big announcements was Resident Evil 7. It came with a trailer and it came with a playable demo, which I am going to. It is an honor to freaking be playing this for you guys. It is a honor to be playing Resident Evil 7 because Resident Evil is one of my favorite game series. It, it was one of the horror series what I grew up on. I grew up playing the original three Resident Evils, Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3. I grew up playing those original three Resident Evils. I remember it scaring the shit out of Tiny Little Danny. I mean, the scariest game I've ever played was Resident Evil 3, and that was because that big, bonded, leathery freak was freaking hunting me down the entire game like, Jill, you're running around a police station, there is no running in a police station, Jill, you know this. But this is Resident Evil 7, and from what I can understand, is that this Resident Evil is not going to be like any of the other Resident Evil. This one's going to be going back to its roots, going back to the horror roots, because ever since after Resident Evil 4, this whole series have been having a little bit of a dandy crisis, where it's not sure if it's wanted to be a horror or a action game, which really in between, it was a really, really hot mess. I mean, Resident Evil 6 kind of was a clear indication that they need to seriously pick up their game and, like, figure out what Resident Evil is. Like, go back to what made Resident Evil so good. This game promises to go back to horror, to back to the horror element, and for what I seen from the trailer and what we're gonna play now, I think they nailed it. So, without any further ado, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into this amazing demo. Let's see, like, let's see what Capcom has done to the series. Let's see if they fucked it up or they actually stuck to their guns and made it horror based. Resident Evil Seven, the beginning hour. It's basically a teaser. This game is actually free for PlayStation Plus. Um, ex members, this game, this is a demo is actually free, so I highly recommend you getting PlayStation Plus and getting this game. Objective, get out of the house. Yeah, see, this is basically a first person point of view. This is a, plays a little bit like PT, even though, yeah, I know, like, those who literally have, like, nothing in common. I don't have a videotape. Well, we're gonna find videotape. I know, like, PT and, you know, this game had nothing in common, but from what I see. Ooh! Okay. For what I've seen, it's a little bit similar. This is probably what PT would have been like if it wasn't for Konami's bullshit. <clears throat> okay, sorry, I had, I had to uh, cough before I said Konami's bullshit. I shall dash them against the stones. What the f- Oh! Should you guys hear that? So, I've seen the trailer for this, and the trailer actually kind of confused me. I mean, I know they're trying to make it a horror-like. A fuse is missing. I know they're really trying to make it a horror-like, but... It, it really confused me of, like, what the trailer was trying to show. Oh, shit, there's somebody at the door. Oh, my God, there's somebody at the door! Okay, 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 okay. I, I, I want to talk to you guys about the trailer before shit happens, but... Uh, oh, shit. See, I, I already, already, I can already tell this game's going to be great. I can already tell, because this is already going back to its horror roots. 
No, it no longer had the third person shooter aspect. It has like a first person horror you know, aspect, and that's what I really like. That's why I really love in horror games, where it gives you the first person perspective. So like you really feel like holy shit, this thing's coming from me. Like you really feel, and you really have the sense of holy shit, this thing's coming from me. Holy shit, I need to get out of here. Holy shit, what the fuck are these things dangling up on the fucking ceiling? Oh, so so basically, guys, the trailer that was shown with this game, it really confused me. I I wasn't dummy finger. Um, okay, I wasn't really sure like what exactly it was. Okay, so here's my inventory. This is the hot button. So. How much do I bet that these are used for weapons? Like later down the line, I'm gonna get like a handgun or like some sort of melee weapon. Like, I can already tell, like I can already guess it's gonna have like a melee weapon or something. And we're gonna use those hot buttons for it. Yeah, see? So it's like maybe maybe like for green herbs or hot buttons. But yeah, as I was saying before I got a little bit off track, is that the trailer really oh oh okay, that's gross. Okay, close it, close that's gross. Okay. Ew. The trailer really confused me. Like, I was like I, yeah, I loved how it was... Okay, can we close this, please? Thank you. I loved how it was, like, it was really going back to the horror roots. It was really going back and it was sticking to the horror roots. But I was very, very, like, unclear on what the fuck was going on. Like, uh, okay, small, okay, I need to find a key, a videotape, and that's, that's pretty much it. But, the, like, I think I'm pretty much... think I saw a zombie. I think I'm, like, I saw, like... I think it was twice in a trailer where it showed, like, a zombie, which is really good because Resident Evil actually started off with zombies, like the first, the first like the original Resident Evils had zombies in it. Like, ooh, Mr. Fucking Teddy Bear. No, that's not. That's the fucking mannequin baby. Oh my god, the fuck did it come? Where the fuck did the mannequin baby come from? The fuck? Can I leave? Shit, I need a key to get out. Fuck. Okay, so I need two keys. But the good thing is I have the bolt cutter, so I'm gonna use it to basically cut the bolt of this. So the trailer, I, I'm pretty sure there was a mention of a ghost. I'm not sure about because like in the trailer there's like a newspaper and it said something about ghosts, which I'm not really sure. Derelict house footage, huh? So let's, let's, we put this in a videotape recorder and find out what needs to be found out. So, but I know like it might have to do with paranormal, like paranormal stuff and ghosts, which I know really does sound like Resident Evil like. But I'm, but like if you, did, this is like something that I really didn't know until like a few days ago. Oh my gosh! Uh, it's, okay, okay, you know what, you know what, you know what, I'm scared. Okay, I'm scared. Okay, it's behind the door, isn't it? It's behind the door. Um, I swear I heard something. I swear I heard something. I heard something in here. Shit. Oh, shit. Okay. But this one thing, like, a little fun fact, that the original Resident Evil 4 actually had to do with ghosts and paranormal stuff. Like, Leon, like, could have gotten possessed and all that shit and the fuck. Get rid of the house, June 1st. Oh, 2005. Oh, so this is in the future. This is in the future. The fu oh, okay. Okay. Future. Future horror. Boo. How did you find this guy? Give me a break, Pete. Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. Okay, so I guess I'm controlling it within the freaking video. So basically, from what I gathered from the trailer, is that it's these guys going into this house. I don't think it's yeah, going inside this house and then something happening. And I am I'm not yeah. No problem. Okay, so show's name. So okay, here. Another worthless fucking show. Okay, so here's why I think it's like it's going on. These three guys. Well, I'm the camera guy, and these two guys are kind of like on a, on, on like a paranormal like TV show or something like that? On like a TV show, who basically, you know, go into this haunted house, like basically investigate for a show, and actually find out are we rolling? that's pretty fucking haunted. <clears throat> okay, it's locked. Buddy. Buddy, it's locked. Get out of the way. Yeah, let, let him do it. It's locked. Oh, sh okay, no, now it's not locked. Okay. When down, kick the damn door down. Okay. Okay, something tells so, me it's just gonna go down. Why are we in hell this time? Do you ever prep? Yeah, do you ever prep, dude? Prep. Shitty house, spooky sound. <sighs> Ooh, is it haunted? Yeah, you have great face in your show, dude. Great fucking face. <gasps> Wait, but we were just here! Fuck me. I was an anchor, you know? Weekend sub, peep. Not anchor. What's that? <laughs> oh, no. shit. Oh, you should sure love your career, dude. Yeah, fucking Pete. 
Fucking. What's the story, Andre? Okay. Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. Okay. The usual. So. How long do you say this place has been abandoned? Pretty long. Three years. <coughs> oh, okay, yeah. <clears throat> Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. So, uh, Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not Hillbillies, the Bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. Yeah, at least you have some respect for them, dude. And they were quiet, not backward. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seed, apparently. Oh. So, Lucas goes batshit crazy. Ah, shit. But what makes this tied into no, the Resident Evil? My good shoes. But what makes this tied into Resident Evil? Oh, shit. Glad I had my shots. What? Oh. Although, this will make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Um... Andre? Eh, it's okay. Oh, wait, are we missing Andre. a dude? Oh, Andre. fuck, we're missing a dude. Clancy, you see where Andre went? Oh, shit, he's been possessed by a ghost. Okay, how much of he's upstairs? Un fucking believable. Yeah, hey, Andre, dude! This is the last time I work with that guy. Yeah, dude, what the fuck? I mean, producers, they come and go, but a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy? Clancy? <gasps> I'm Tom Clancy? Fuck, am I Tom Clancy? That'd be fucking good. That'll be fucking amazing. I'm Tom Clancy. This is basically one giant video game match. I'm Tom Clancy. That's basically, you know, Frank West, investigator. What the fuck was that? Oh my gosh, dude. Dude. Dude, I ready for this? I ready for this? Okay, ready? Whew, count of three. Three, two, one! Okay, that's un undramatic. I try to make it cool as dramatic as possible, but okay. What the fuck is he? He's dead. He's dead. Can we leave? Can we please leave? Can we please leave? He's dead. He's dead. Can we leave? Okay, Andre's dead. Place is haunted. Lucas, come Andre, back to kill us. Uh, he, Andre is dead, dude. Can we leave? <gasps> Wait, but where's the, where's the VCR player? <gasps> oh, shit. Dude, dude, can we please get the fuck out of here? Okay, I have a very bad feeling that this Lucas person, right, this Lucas person is gonna come back and try to fuck us up. So I kinda wanna get the fuck out of here while I still have my what arms, legs, and head. So, you know. Gonna be, what the fuck? Oh my! You gotta be fucking kidding me! Yeah, no shit. Okay, you know what? All right, new deal. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. Same. Thank you, buddy. But we'll be exploring that haunted cavern in the next part, guys. When we come back, we'll be going into this haunted freaking cupboard thing and most likely get our asshole torn out by a fucking zombie ghost. <laughs> oh my gosh, this game's already giving me the fucking chills. And we haven't even been here halfway the devil yet. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be seeing you awesome guys in the next awesome part, guys. Take care, enjoy the rest of E3, and have a marvelous, marvelous day. Ah.